A U.S. official who asked not to be named confirmed on Monday that the amount of us military equipment supplied to the Afghan army and now seized by the Taliban was very large. This happened when Kabul, the country's capital, was captured by the militant group without any resistance from the Afghan military. Earlier, upon entering the city of Kabul on Sunday, these Taliban insurgents met no resistance from the Afghan military in their efforts to seize political power and us supplied military hardware, including Humvee and Black Hawk helicopters. Quoted from the Sputnik News page, Tuesday, August 17, 2021, the sudden and rapid collapse of the Afghan army resulted in the Assad loss. That's because the situation shows that the main beneficiary of America's huge investments in the country turns out to be the Taliban. It should be noted, over the past 20 years, the US government has indeed poured around 145 billion US dollars in its efforts to rebuild Afghanistan. This is based on information provided by the Office of the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction. Data from this watchdog shows that the 145 billion US dollars is part of the 837 billion US dollars spent by the US on war needs. Meanwhile, 83 billion US dollars was used to develop and maintain the Afghan army and police forces. The $83 billion invested in Afghan forces over 20 years is nearly double last year's budget for the entire US Marine Corps. This figure is also slightly more than the US budgeted last year for food stamp assistance for some 40 million Americans. Doug Lute, a retired US Army Lieutenant General who helped direct Afghanistan's war strategy under former US Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, points out that one of the reasons for the collapse of Afghan forces is the lack of morale in their ranks. The principle of war still exists, but the moral factor should dominate the material factor. Morale, discipline, leadership, unity of the unit are more decisive than the number of troops and equipment. As outsiders in Afghanistan, we can provide material, but only Afghans can provide the intangible moral factor, said Lute. The statement came after a video showing Taliban fighters posing next to a US-made Black Hawk helicopter gun went viral on the internet last Sunday, shortly after the insurgent group captured the Afghan capital, Kabul. The helicopters, best known for being featured in the 2001 Ridley Scott thriller Black Hawk Down, are also estimated to be worth several million US dollars each. Similar photos emerged from cities across Afghanistan that had previously been captured by the Taliban showing the militants posing with seized weapons and patrolling vehicles once used by Afghan spies or elite forces. In addition, the rebels also seized tactical vehicles, Humvees, small arms and ammunition worth millions of dollars.